return to Shark Vortex. No part of this fin cam stays on the shark. The galvanic trigger mechanism in this device is designed to dissolve off, and then it floats to the surface where we can retrieve it. But the retrieval doesn't go to plan. After it releases, it's swept up in the Gulf Stream and is heading farther out into even more treacherous waters. The weakening satellite pings are becoming nearly impossible to track. And losing the fin cam means losing all of the priceless data it contains. We've been at this all night. It goes weak and then it goes strong. The tag's off the shark and it's just floating around in the Atlantic and it's been doing a circle around the area. Warren, do you see anything? There it is, straight ahead of us. Holy. She's got it! All right, I'm gonna grab a net. Actually, back up a little bit, Brian. I can't reach it. A little closer. A little closer. Got it! Oh, my God. Honestly, I never thought we'd get this back. And at nighttime, I was I just know. I was just saying we're never gonna find this thing at night, and we found it at night. No one's ever seen the perspective from a poor beagle's back. Nobody has any of the data like this. Make sure somebody turned the camera on before we get too excited. Being able to go retrieve something in the middle of the ocean after deploying it on an animal is just amazing and something that I didn't think we would be doing. This technology gives us a lot more access to be able to look into the lives of these animals. Lauren downloads the information to her laptop. They'll know instantly whether or not the device worked. This is amazing to watch, like, that's insane. It looks like it's moving so fast, like everything's yeah, traveling it through. See, see it's yeah, it readjusted it's, its jaw. There's been nobody that's been able to see this ever. There have been more people that have walked on the moon than have seen this footage.